Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the Air Day Sling 3, which I've been testing over the course of the last three weeks. Let's jump in. All right, so overall the materials on this thing, we have a 1680D ballistic nylon in classic air fashion. There is an X-Pack version as well. They do this on pretty much all their bags. We have YKK AquaGuard zippers, and then we have a Fidlock magnetic buckle down here at the bottom that I have a bit of a rub with, which we're gonna get into. So let's kick it off with the outside of this bag. There is not a ton going on, it's pretty minimal. Now, one of the things I like about the construction, it's kind of a wedge here, so you can see that it stands up on its own relatively well, which is great. And then we have a small handle in the back here. To be honest, I haven't really used this that much. Um, I kind of just hold it by the strap like this, um, but it's there if you want to use it that way. You can't really take this strap off either, but I suppose if you wanted to, you could disengage it from the Fidlock buckle and kind of stuff this in the zippered pocket behind here. But I just haven't done that, haven't really had the need to do it. Um, as far as fit, it fits pretty nicely. Uh, let me just pop it on and just show you real quick. There we go, give you a quick little spin a -rooney. Um, I really like holding it down right here. So I like to just have it by my side, easy access. Um, if you wanna go in like athletic mode, you can tighten it up and get it here um, on my bike or something like that. I like it a little bit tighter so it doesn't like flap around all over the place. But for everyday wear, I like it right here. One of the things that I like about the strap system too is how it's anchored. So it's diagonal, so it fits like a sling on your side. And I think the shape and the design is overall good for that reason. First thing I'll talk about the buckle placement. So I really like it on the side here because if you're wearing this as a travel backpack, usually wearing this with a travel backpack, like at your front, right, like this, usually what happens is the buckle is like centered right here. Now, if you wanna wear your travel backpack on your back, you can get that buckle out of your way because it's down here on the side. It's not gonna be sticking in your back when you're in your travel backpack. So that's really nice. As for the Fidlock itself, I have had this come disengaged on one or two occasions just while kind of like moving the sling around. It's easy to do. Never while I was wearing it. Like when you're wearing it, it's locked in when you got weight on it. But just moving it around or whatever, like grabbing it, maybe it gets caught on like something. It's very easy to undo that. All right, and then there's just a little loop here where you can hang this thing up. If you have like a hero clip, you can just hang it up on the side. Interesting placement, or like the side of a table, you know, like, like that, if the table's here, you hang it up like that off the hero clip. Um, the interesting, interesting placement with it on the side here, and then you have this handle here, totally fine, it stays out of the way. So let's get into some of the pockets inside. Kicking off with this first one down the middle, unzip it, again, like standard air design language here with the YKK AquaGuard zipper. Some commenters have commented about the durability of these, especially in you know, climates where they can kind of dry out and crack a little bit uh, more easily, a little bit more quick, quickly than like a standard racket coil uh, zipper, which if we're gonna compare, like that's, that's a re reverse coil zipper here. Racket coil is a different thing, but reverse coil when it's just like the fabric there. Um, some people like this a little bit better because they think you know, that it is a little bit more durable whereas the AquaGuard will crack for a little bit longer, or crack a little bit sooner. Um, inside here we have a pretty simple pocket. I've just got my face mask in there and keys, little flashlight. I do like the key ring here. I think this is a good little advancement based on what I've seen in the past from Air, which you know has been like a little bit of a cheaper clip, but I like that this metal is here now. I really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, just a nice little pocket up on the front side of it here. Also the liner, since the last, the Day Sling 2 has improved too. Um, it's a little bit softer, it's a little more robust, a little less like swishy, which I like. And yeah, there you go, just giving you an idea 
of how that pocket looks. These two little tabs on the side are for to, to grab onto when you're zipping and unzipping this, something you wouldn't really think about until you use it. And then we have a Hypalon zipper garage here as well. Another thing that I like is Air has reduced the jingle in some of their new bags. So this is hardly jingly at all. You know, you get a little bit, you're not getting that metal, metal on metal sound. That's because this paracord right here is, is wrapped around that metal zipper part and it's silencing it. And also this metal pull tab here is smaller now. So it's, there's just less jingle. So I really appreciate that. I know that's something we've complained about a lot and I'm, I'm glad they've upgraded it. Like, that's awesome. Um, now back here, we have another hidden pocket with a fancy Hypalon pull this time. And I think Air seems to be using these Hypalon pulls in places where they want things to be more discreet. So you can take this entire zipper pull and just hide it behind this fabric gusset like that. And you wouldn't even hardly know that there's a pocket there unless you knew it was there. So nice grippy zipper pull on it. YKK zipper on the back. This is a, not an AquaGuard. I've just got my passport back here. So it's good for things like that, that you want to store. And you do have some um, liter space that's going up here at the top too, behind this thing, which is great. All right. Passport. Boom. Just to give you like size reference fits in there, like right below that gusset. Just pop that back in there. And let's get on to the main compartment. So again, reverse coil zipper goes down in a horseshoe fashion, goes about two thirds down the side and we can open that up. And what's really nice about this is, yeah, if you want to go through it, you can just stand it up on your desk or table or whatever it is that you're, you're doing. Um, I did have my phone in here, so I'll just kind of show you how I had that. I like to stick my phone just right there in the middle find that it's easy and quick to get access to. So a pair of gloves in here, set that off to the side phone, which I just put in there off to the side. You have a good amount of space down here in the middle. Like it can get pretty wide if you want it to. Um, and then you have, I really love the mesh pockets here on the sides. So I usually will put taller items in this front one and then shorter items back here. So they don't obstruct this zipper inside of here. So let's over the front mesh pockets. Just got some sunglasses in there and some cables and a battery bank as well. Nice stretch to them too. I really appreciate this over the liner pockets we've seen previously. Just really locks in gear a little bit better, which I really, really dig. Got a little tripod in there too. Almost forgot about that. And yeah, I've got pen in here as well. So it holds deceptively a lot of stuff and keeps it organized, which I dig. Um, might also this pen i kind of was playing with having it up here as well but i did something else with this tag up here uh, which i'll show you in a second if i remember i hope i remember okay so great stretchiness on that and then you know these can come out further into that main compartment but you have ample space in the main compartment too with this gusset so you see at the bottom how this liner kind of folds up when you compress it down that's folding up. So it creates a lower profile carry when it's not filled, but when you need that space, you can take advantage of it. So I really like that. It's a really clever design and just an upgrade from the day sling too. I mean, really just slight iterations. Now here I would like to put smaller items. So I've got my AirPods pro there, and then I've got just my nomadic wallet there too on that side. Um, these are stretchy too, like similarly sized mesh pockets. They seem a little bit taller and they go all the way up to where the self-locking YKK zipper is, which I think is great. Um, and I just, I, again, I just like the organization options you have in here. Um, we were throwing together our packing list. The Air Slim pouch is very similar. You have a lot of segmentation that just lays flat when you don't need it. So you can use this as like a giant dump, right? If you're looking at like the Bellroy Sling and the Bellroy Sling Mini, they have this giant dump pocket and they don't have a ton. They got a couple pockets, but not like this but these aren't hurting anything if, if you don't use them. They're just sitting there, but you have the option to if you want to. So like you can throw like a water bottle and gloves and a hat just in this main compartment and be fine. Or if you wanna put smaller items like I had in all these little pockets, you can also do that too. So it's very versatile. Back here is just a little bit of a area where you could put like a notebook or something like that, a little lay flat, flat items. 
And then I want to show you, I really like that Air has been having like a little Air tags or a tile pocket on some of their products. But a little hack here that I figured out while testing this is you can actually put the Air tag behind the Air tag. So you just slide that in. It takes a little bit of work. I'm not going to go in all the way, but you can uh, slide that back. I don't think it's intended to, and it looks like it's putting like a little stress on that thing. If you look there, I'm not, you know, buyer beware, I guess, or like, you know, I'm not a lawyer disclaimer, um, but you are able to do that if you want to stow it away. And these things are like pretty permanent once you get them in. Um, so in lieu of having that nice little pocket that they have on the Air City Pack and the Air Travel Pack 3, um, I was just like, I really want to put this somewhere. But normally I would have it zipped up inside of this um, zippered area. So this is a self-locking YKK zipper. You know, it's got this very flat zipper pull as well. It's not jingling, jangling around, getting caught on stuff on the inside. So I appreciate that. And then it's a lighter liner in here. I just have like really some small loose items. I feel like I could, you know, maybe utilize this pocket a little bit more, but anything that is smaller, I'm like afraid is maybe going to fall out of here when I'm using it. I'll just stuff it in the back here to keep it safe. All right. So there you have it. The Air Day Sling 3. Overall, I think a big improvement on the Air Day Sling 2 and just a great little sling. Thanks for coming here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we will see you in the next video.